All right, good day, hi, and welcome back. Okay, so a little bit of a different day today. Today was basically fur day, <laughs> fur harvesting day. So let me show you what I got left. So there's my some of my newer beaver hoops. They work very well. Uh, the staple method works well, but you just have to cut the staples off after I used a combination of scissors and knife. Not fully dried yet. I don't know, maybe because when I did this one, I didn't dry it in here to start with. So I think what happened is there was just like a lot of frost and it got cold and it froze. So it never really dried. So I got two days left before the furs go out. Technically three, but two days to prepare them. So this one, I, I'm going to leave it in here for a day or two. It doesn't smell too bad. The, the otters were the stinky part. That one, that little one there was the last one I did a couple of days ago. It's ready to go. It's ready to go. But I'll leave it on there just because I'm done for tonight. That one, it's still a little wet around the cheeks. So it should be within two days that one should be ready to go for sure this one same thing it's a little damp around the cheeks i think it was just because there's probably frost in there so these guys they should be like if they're rock hard by tomorrow morning I'll, I'll do those two and that one uh the other one that i caught that uh that i did the, the two of them i've already took that one that one was that one was probably drier than all of them because it it all, it all dry they the little one and the other that really dark one i had dried they, they never made it outside they only dried in here so it's like uh you can see the grease just pouring off this one uh, this one i <laughs> i could have done a much better job but that that was the first beaver of the season so hopefully that pelt won't rot uh hopefully it'll actually get me some money if not it'll go on the next one but uh my hunches are i didn't do a good i, I didn't do a good job on this one uh that, that that's unfortunately the first beaver i caught was the 62 pound beaver i wish that would have been the last beaver i caught so i could get them into these kind of conditions uh, uh that one's probably a slightly older beaver i don't remember when i caught that one but judging by the the fur it was probably one of the earlier beavers so it wasn't quite 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 prime that one but it's it's a good size one that one was i think 38 pounds or something like that and uh these little guys here uh the double-sided uh beaver hoops uh, work really well they didn't warp or nothing so they they dry really well that big beaver hoop has been around i, I made that one a long time ago and uh that beaver hoop held out okay too so yeah i'll let these guys dry in here for the next two days and then if i'm lucky all 16 pelts will go if not you know if i have to hold this one back i'll hold this one back until it's fully dried because you know that's the one i've got the most work in uh you know but the, just I, I don't know why i did that one so poorly i guess because it was the first pelt of the season and first pelt i i worked on in uh, so many uh you know in three or four years so is what it is so anyway that one should be good to go tomorrow that one should be good to go tomorrow that one's already good to go I just i'm done for this evening so worst case scenario three pelts will stay so that's not bad my goal was to send 18 pelts i caught 16. Uh, I didn't check my traps today because I was just doing this for the last past four or five hours. Um, and I didn't check up at the other place uh, the day before. Uh, the other place, because uh, the beavers, I wasn't catching the beavers uh, really quickly. I'm going to check it every two days. Uh, in this case, it'll be three days because this is going to be done. So all the other pelts right now are sitting in my CRV and it's going to be like minus 20 tonight. So not worried about the the crv the idea is keep them nice and cold so the but they're 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 good to go they're good to go except for that one is not ready to take off the board yet but we'll see what happens tomorrow and the next day and then we'll know about that one that's the only one i'm really concerned about these that one's done like i said the little tiny one that one it's just i think it was just that there was a little bit of frost in the cheeks and might have made it, left them damp but two nights two days in here these two should be hard as a hard as a rock so and hopefully that one will be too but i did leave quite a bit of fat on that one <laughs> i mean i got the worst stuff off but yeah yeah we'll, we'll see what happens we'll see what happens there you go